So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my Team of the Week suggestion series. As always, this is the series where we take an early look at the upcoming Team of the Week by reviewing the top five leagues games from the past 48 hours. And this way we can get a bit of an idea of what the upcoming Team of the Week is going to look like. If you want a full in-depth Team of the Week prediction, that will be out tomorrow once more games have concluded. And that video will of course cover every single league that is in FIFA. So, you know, look out for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do that and that way you'll be alerted when that video does indeed go live. Also, before we continue, quick cheeky plug. Uh, if you want to join my Discord, there's a link to do so in the description. Uh, one positive from doing that is you get early access to my Team of the Week notes. So if you want to know super early who potentially could be in Team of the Week, um, join the Discord and uh, you'll see me post my notes in there every few um, hours over the weekend. I try to keep it updated as much as I possibly can. Um, before we continue, if you could leave like rain on the video, that would be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to be active in the comment section too. Let's now begin. Okay, so we begin with Friday's games and we start in the Premier League where Wolves beat Crystal Palace two goals to nil and then goals in particular came from Pudence and also Nuri. Now, Pudence was recently involved in the Rule Breakers promo and uh, Nuri uh, has a shot. He got a goal and a clean sheet from a left wing back role. Ultimately though, I don't think he's got too great of a chance with him being a silver. I just don't think EA will find a spot for him, unfortunately. But uh, who knows, I could be wrong, but uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm pretty confident in saying that he won't get in, but uh, we'll see what happens on Wednesday, I guess. Uh, Cadiz beat Ibar two goals to nil, and in this matchup, uh, Negredo was involved in both of the goals. A goal and a assist for him, he could pick up an inform this week. He's a gold player in Ultimate Team, and he's probably one of them players, if he does get in, he is going to be the player that you're going to see every single time you open a red pick on Thursday. So, uh... Yeah, look out for that. The third and final game to discuss from Friday was between Schalke and Stuttgart. And uh, as you can see, the game ended in a score draw, 1-1. And uh, yeah, an inform just won't come from this particular matchup. Now we move on to Saturday and we've only got three matches to discuss from the Premier League so uh, let's just get into them shall we. Manchester City beat Sheffield United in the earlier kickoff, and in this game it was Kyle Walker who got himself on the score sheet. He also registered a clean sheet as a defender as well. Now I know a lot of people are going to say like quite confidently that they think Walker's going to get a second in form this week. However I'm telling you right now it's not going to happen because uh, he was in team the week number three therefore will not be in team of the week number six. Now I know a lot of people have different theories about the gap between an inform but um, look at history in FIFA 21. We didn't get a Lewandowski last week because he made an appearance in team week two and we also didn't get a second inform at Lozano when he put in a big performance in Napoli. So on that basis I don't believe we will see a second inform Carl Walker. So uh yeah, that's uh, unfortunate because if it was to be a right-back card that would instantly become one of the best right-backs in the game in my opinion especially considering the boost uh, the first inform got. So, uh, yeah, sadly, I don't believe an inform Car Walker will be coming um, in the near future. In the next matchup, Chelsea beat Burnley away from home, three goals to nil. And uh, in this game, there were three different goal scorers, and you can see them on the screen right now. Timo Werner, Ket Zuma, and Hakim Ziyech on the score sheet. Um, also, Mason Mount got himself a good rating and a assist, but um, I think we all know that Hakim Ziyech is the favourite to pick up the inform from this matchup, so uh, we could see a rise in his one-to-watch price. Um, probably wouldn't advise buying uh, one-to-watch Ziyech right now because he's already inflated. Like As soon as he scored a goal today, his price just shot up, so uh, yeah, one to keep an eye on, literally. So the final game in the Premier League on Saturday was between Liverpool and West Ham. And once again, it could be a bit of one to watch watch because uh, Diogo Jota came on to score the match winner in this game. He actually scored twice in this game, but one of them did get uh, taken off due to VAR or thanks to VAR. So uh, yeah, did score twice, but at the same time didn't. You see, you see what I mean there? Um, anyway, will he get in for one goal? Um, it's possible, it's certainly possible, but ultimately do I think it's too likely? As things stand, no, but um, I'll know more tomorrow once I've reviewed more of the attacking options. So there is a chance it gets upgraded, but um, as I say, at the current time, I wouldn't be saying with super confidence that he will. It's now time to go to Spain and discuss the La Liga games, and uh, we've actually got quite a few good cards to discuss in this little segment here. So we'll begin with Real Madrid's win over Huesca. They won four goals to one, and uh, in the fixture, Valverde scored, Benzema scored, and Hazard also got on the score sheet. But um, 
you can tell who the standout is right here. And it is, of course, Benzema, who got two goals and a assist. So I think we can say fairly confidently that Benzema will be making an appearance this week. I'd be very surprised if he does not. Um, an alternative option would have been Valverde, but obviously he got an inform last week, therefore can't this week. So, uh, yeah, it will be Benzema if anyone is to come from this matchup. Atletico Bilbao and Sevilla ended in a 2-1 scoreline in favour of the home side. Uh, there were two different goal scorers, Sankri and Ike Munien, but um, I don't think either of them will pick up an inform for just one goal, unfortunately, for them. The third game in the La Liga featured Osasuna at home to Atletico Madrid. And uh, as you can see, Jao Felix got on the score sheet twice. So there is a potential, uh, or there is a possibility, sorry, that the Portuguese forward makes the upcoming team of the week. One of the goals, though, was a penalty, and that certainly could be something that holds him back when they do indeed make the team of the week selection. Lucas Torreira actually came off the bench to uh, get a goal as well. So he could maybe be an option. Uh, defensive midfielder coming on to score, definitely not a bad one at that either. But um, I think most likely the informed come from this game is obviously Felix, but whether he will or not will depend on how many other attacking options there are for Team of the Week number 6. Alaves and Barcelona ended in a 1-1 scoreline, and um, despite the goalkeeper of the home side conceding, he was a very busy boy and made 8 other saves in that game. So... Despite not keeping a clean sheet, I think he's got a fair shot at making it into the upcoming team of the week. Over to Italy now, where Crotone and Atalanta played out to a 2-1 away scoreline, and Luis Muriel got on the score sheet twice, so he's probably got a pretty good chance at featuring on the bench of team of the week number 6. So, uh, potentially a nice, cheap, informed pacey striker coming to the upcoming team of the week. In the next matchup, Inter Milan and Parma uh, finished in a 2-2 scoreline, so with the game ending in a draw, I don't think an informed being produced is too likely, although it is worth mentioning Vino did score two goals in this game and got a decent match rating. So once again, if there is a lack of potential attacking options, then maybe Jovino could get in. So one to watch out for there. In the third and final game to be played in the Serie A on Saturday, Bologna beat Cagliari three goals 2-2. And in this game, there are two potential inform options. We've got Jonathan Soriano, who got himself a goal and a assist from midfield. And we've also got Barrow, who got two goals. Now, Barrow did get the higher match rating um, from Gazetta, which would normally mean that he's more likely to get the inform. However, he is a silver. Therefore, I think at the time, Soriano has a bit of a better chance as things stand. So we'll have to see what happens with that one. It now will be time to go discuss the action from the German Bundesliga and we will begin by talking about Augsburg who beat Mainz 3 goals to 1. Vargas got one goal and Andre Hahn got the other two in this game. So could he make an appearance in Team of the Week 6? There certainly is potential for it. But he is a silver as a base item and that could definitely go against him, especially if there's a bunch of silver hat-tricks this week. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that one happening at the moment. Bayern Munich beat FC Cologne 2-1 thanks to uh, goals from Thomas Muller and Serge Gnabry. Um, ultimately not the best performance from Bayern Munich and uh, because of that I can't see an inform coming from this game. A side like Bayern Munich have got to normally do something relatively big to uh, produce an inform so uh, yeah, I don't think we'll see a special card come from this game sadly for them. One game that almost certainly will produce an inform though is uh, the Borussia Dortmund fixture which ended in a 2-0 scoreline and the player who got on the score sheet was Mr. Mats Hummels who scored twice in this game and recorded a clean sheet so uh, this is one of them that you can definitely say you can feel pretty confident in happening Hummels almost certainly will be in team of the week number six and um, unfortunately the inform won't be too much to look at because uh, although he'll have insane defending and probably good physical stats his uh, pace definitely isn't going to be ideal for ultimate team but uh, I'm sure some Dortmund fans would still be pretty happy to uh, pick up this card in their red picks but uh, yeah that is that let's move on Frank Fair and Werder Bremen ended in a 1-1 scoreline uh, just wasn't a particular standout player in that game, so an inform won't come from it. And then the fourth game, uh, I think this is the final game we'll discuss from the Bundesliga today, was between Borussia Mönchengladbach and um, RB Leipzig. And this is a game where I'm a bit, 
I'm a bit 50-50 on it, to be honest, because this is the kind of game that could produce an inform, but there just wasn't really a massive standout play for me to select right now, so I'm going to wait to see what uh, ratings Kicker gives, and maybe that will give a better indication of whether an inform will come from this matchup. The final league we're going to discuss in this video is, of course, the French Ligue 1, and we kick things off with Stadrone against Brest, and the home side won this game two goals to one. Both goals actually came from centre-backs, which is kind of interesting, but uh, one of them's a silver, so he probably won't make it in but maybe uh, De Silva has a chance ultimately I don't think it's a great one though we end this week with a potential inform killer Navas he was involved in PSG's 3-0 win against Nante and in that game he saved a penalty he didn't do too much else so I think his inform chances are fairly slim but uh, a penalty save is obviously still a decent effort from a goalkeeper the goals in this game uh, game sorry came from Herrera Mbappe and Pablo Sarabia so guys, there you have it. Those are my Team of the Week 6 early suggestions. If you do want to see a full prediction for the upcoming Team of the Week, make sure you check out the channel tomorrow night. I will post my full 23-man prediction um, tomorrow, so look out for that. Obviously, in that video, we will cover every single league that is in FIFA. Anyway, let's wrap this up. If you could leave like rating on this video, that'd be absolutely awesome. Be sure to be active in the comments, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.